Hi dear doctors, so today we are at ISACON 2025 and today with us we have the prestigious faculty of anesthesia and chief editor of DigiNav anesthesia program, Dr. Devatya sir. So welcome sir. So, uh, Thank you. So there are some queries from uh, our subscribers and so many other students who want to purchase this course. So there is the first question that is behind it. Ki what was the idea behind curating this Anesthesia MD program? So for many years, we yes, have been bringing out uh, a book called the Objective Anesthesia Review. Yes, sir. yes, sir. And that is based uh, on the course which we started at Tata Memorial many years ago. Mm -hmm. It was called ARC Anesthesia Review Course. And the lecture notes were then made into a sort of textbook. Yeah. And now this book is in the fifth edition. Yeah. And again, yes, brought out by it, JP. Yes. And yes. Uh, now the sixth edition is getting ready. Yes, sir. And after a point, it, uh, you know, we sort of decided to expand the scope yeah, yeah. to make a series of video lectures based on not only the cases, because in the book, we only covered cases yes, sir. and a few instruments and uh, this thing. But now to expand the entire anesthesia curriculum, including mm -hmm. physiology, anatomy, you know, and uh, theory, other theory, theory topics apart from cases, drugs, instruments. And so now it's become a sort of a series of video lectures which have been done by the top faculty from across yes, the sir. country. And mm. I think that's one of the highlights is that all the teachers, the ones who are taking lectures are top faculty. Yes, sir, definitely. Not only from Tata Memorial or Mumbai, but from all over the country. All over the country. And I think that there are a lot of value additions in this, you know, including uh, lecture series, lecture notes, test series, and, you know, many links to references. So I think it's becoming a very comprehensive uh, resource for uh, students and maybe even practitioners of uh, anesthesia. So what's the recommended study patterns for the students who are in residency right now and they want to prepare for their NEET SS examination, how to study, how to go about it, sir? So I think for students, they have two aims. One yes, is sir. to pass their MD or DNB. Yes, sir. Definitely. And then if they want to study further, then they have to prepare for NEET mm -hmm. uh, SS. Mm -hmm. Right. So now if you have to my suggestion would be that, you know, in most hospitals nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, there are no formal lectures. Hardly anyone takes lectures. Yeah. Right. So uh, they learn either by discussing amongst themselves or by seniors teaching on the bedside. But there are no formal lectures. Yeah. So a, lect a series like this, yes, sir, yes, video sir. lectures would be very good because, they, again, like I say, they've been taken by top faculty and they explain everything. There's no mm -hmm. time limitation. Yes, sir. Definitely. So they can speak, you know, can get comp comprehensive, comprehensive knowledge. Comprehensive. I also suggest, uh, or in fact, I recommend that they should read standard textbook. Should not only read uh, short uh, reviews mm. or just journal papers or journal articles. You should read standard textbooks, at least for an MD or DNB when you're doing your basic anesthesia training, so that all your concepts get uh, clear. Okay, so and then of course you can have crash courses when your exams come in, and that time books like the Objective Anesthesia Review are extremely handy because mm -hmm. they cover the exam-related topics yeah. uh, very nicely, and you can flip through very fast. Uh, for NEET SS, I think you have to uh, prepare your subject specific, subject -specific. Uh, questions plus uh, lecture series, I mean test series and test MCQs series. and all those sort of things. If you're giving DRNB, uh, DNB, uh, anesthesia, then your the spots, what they now call, uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, OSCEs. OSCEs. So I think this uh, series also has a series OSCEs. of OSCEs. OSCEs. So they will help you in clearing your DNB. Mm -hmm. So I think it will give you, so you have to have good basic grounded uh, knowledge plus you need to have exam specific uh, reading and uh, listening and that's uh, visual lectures mm -hmm. and all and that will sort of help you clear your exam and not just clear maybe even do well in your exam and get pass your neat assess okay so thank you so much for sir for having your time sir thank you so much okay thank you and good luck to everyone yeah thank you so much sir.